Well, they are finally trying. Here, here they are trying. Here's, here's the latest attempt at trying. The elements of the news media that have been accused of sane washing Donald Trump know that they are guilty of exactly that. And now some of them, like the New York Times, they really, really are trying to do something about it. But this is their first try. We're so used to everything being normalized. What did Lawrence O'Donnell call it? Sane washing, yeah. everything he says. So I spent like $75 on cat toys. And what does she play with? A shoelace. That's crazy. Joe, that's been your answer every time I tell a story. It's like you're not even listening. Well, that's because you interrupted me when I was telling you about Kevin trying to hang himself with an extension cord. I know, that's crazy. Everything, Literally everything he says is either a complete lie or completely insane or both. So it's like yes. debating a rabid animal that's cornered and... <laughs> Knows they're going to go to prison. I, it's just right, uh, and self-medicating, and you know, pondering what a failure it's been in life. And I, you know, again, the, the thing. I, this is why I spend you know time getting so angry at corporate media and say some you know, very unnice things for yes, those of you. Yes, yes, you do. Probably seen because the, they do create the whole narrative and atmosphere. Yeah. Okay. If 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 it were not for them, if they just did their job, we're not asking for any special treatment. If they just did their job, and which is to tell people the truth, inform them so they know who, what's going on and how to vote in a, in a democracy, and told them, shared the actual gibberish, for example. Finally, the New York Times got pressured. Maybe all of our pressure and going after them, and they wrote a piece on his cognitive challenges, whatever. It took them this long Thank you. with what they did to Biden. But we need to keep that pressure up because that's the thing is that if, if, if they were to tell the truth every day about what he says, the dictatorial things, the threats, the I incomprehensible things, you know, and the rest of it, we'd be up by 20 points. Yeah. It literally is their fault because they sane wash, as you put, what he says and make it sound like he's a legitimate person for this office, which he obviously is not. Yeah. Here is the New York Times confession in writing tonight in this article. Often his mangled statements are summarized in news accounts in ways that do not give the full picture of how baffling they can be. The New York Times has done that every single day. The New York Times has been covering Donald Trump, the politician, including in this article tonight. They couldn't get through the whole article without doing it. In this article, the New York Times is trying to cure itself of its habit of sane washing Donald Trump. And in the very next passage after the one that I just read, the New York Times tries to sane wash what Donald Trump said last week to these stupid rich people at the New York Economic Club who clapped enthusiastically for Donald Trump's incoherent response to a question about child care. A response that was not an answer. It was a widely criticized, incoherent jumble that did not answer the question about child care in any way. And in the article tonight, the New York Times thought they could cure their sane washing habit by quoting a larger portion of what Donald Trump said about child care instead of the short, sane washed bits that they used in the coverage of that event last week. Here is the New York Times attempt at a cure for its own habit of sane washing in which, in the end, it sane washes Donald Trump again. Tonight's article says that because quoting Donald Trump at length, quote, can provide additional context, here is a more extended account of his reply on affordable child care. And after running that extended incoherent response by Donald Trump, the New York Times, then in the very next paragraph, sane washed it with this interpretation. What he seemed to be saying was that he would raise so much money by imposing tariffs on imported goods that the country could use the proceeds to pay for child care in itself. That would be a disputable policy assumption. A disputable policy assumption? That is the single most disturbing thing I have read in the New York Times about the New York Times.